using classical method, the total response of difference equation y n equal to homogeneous solution y h n plus particular solution y p n. The homogeneous solution is the response of the system to the initial condition assuming that the input x n is zero due to zero input while the particular solution of the system is the response of the input x n uh, assuming zero initial condition okay given an example uh, a system that has this difference equation uh, given x n equal to 3 with the power of n multiply with u n and the initial condition y minus 1 is equal to 1 and y minus 2 is equal to 1. Determine y n using classical method. So first we solve for homogeneous solution. Okay, using this uh, given equation, we replace y n with y h n. So that we can solve for homogeneous solution. Okay, we assume y h n, the homogeneous solution, is equal to this one, c r with the power of n. And then, <coughs> back to this equation, we replace this assumption of CRN into YHN in this equation. So we have this one. For YHN minus 1, it will be converted or replaced using CRN minus 1 with the power of N minus 1. Same goes to YHN minus 2. It will become CR with the power of N minus 2. For homogeneous solution, we assume that the zero input condition so xn is equal to zero so for this one we, we rearrange this equation in terms of polynomial equation so this one will become crn r squared this one negative 5 over 6 r okay multiply with this one we take it out from the bracket and plus 1 over 6 close bracket so based on this part we will determine um, the roots of this equation which is this one is called the characteristic equation so from this one the roots are 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 these roots are different real roots the solution for homogeneous equation for different real, real roots are this one the homogeneous solution is equal to a r1 with the power of n plus b r2 with the power of n r1 and r2 are the roots of this characteristic equation if you have same real roots this equation for homogeneous solution is this one a r with the power of n plus b n r with the power of n r is r is the same real roots therefore for these different real roots the homogeneous solution is a 1 over 2 the first roots with the power of n plus b 1 over 3 the second roots with the power of n for a particular solution okay we assume that if we have input a the particular solution will be replaced by C. But if we have the input solution, okay, the input signal A with the power of N, the particular solution will become C multiplied with A with the power of N. Therefore, we need to determine C. So in this case, our input signal is xn equal to 3 with the power of n therefore our particular solution is this one okay c 3 is your a with the power of n so we are using this type of particular solution <coughs> so by substituting this replacement of y p the particular solution which is equal to c 3 with the power of n 
into the difference equation given in the question. So we replace y n with y p n to solve particular solution. So we have this one. For particular solution, it depends on the input signal. Okay, the input signal is not zero. So using this one, we replace the particular solution with this one, C3 with the power of N in all of the solution. So for Y, P, N minus 1, it will become like this. And with the power of C3 with the power of N minus 2. So what for Y, P, N minus 2, it will become C3 with the power of N minus 2. Okay, the next one. Since the largest uh, order of the pass uh, output y p n minus two. Okay, the largest delay. So we assume that n is equal or larger than two, so that none of the terms is vanish. So in this case, we choose n equal to two to solve this equation. So for n equal to two, this one become two minus one one. This one become two minus two, which is zero. So for Assuming n equal to 2, we have this one okay, in this equation so that we can solve for c which is equal to 27 over 20. Therefore, our particular solution is back to this equation. So c is 27 over 20 multiplied with 3 with the power of n.